Hello everybody, how you doing? Tony Rizzano here for the Affiliate Party Podcast. Today we are going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about team building, building up a team. And we're going to talk about toxic positivity. Now, first, team building. Let's get into this. Online In the online space, team building might be a little different than building a team, you know, at, at a brick and mortar store like um my wife she has well she used to before everybody just sort of quit she had a manager she had a couple of teachers teaching her class you know and these people were before the whole COVID-19 these people were in harmony and it was nice my wife she could uh go she could leave she could be gone for two days come back things would still be running smoothly you know this is the kind of team you want you know I remember at one point she had the different people, and she said, "I can't leave. I can't leave these people here, you know." And uh, so eventually, she had to get rid of them, or eventually they just sort of dropped out. So the one thing my wife, she, we, 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 we've discussed this before. The one thing that she says that she does wrong is people are not meshing well with her. She keeps she keeps them around just to see will it work out, and most of the time it does not work out. I'm not saying you have to jump the gun and fire everybody if they make one mistake, but after a couple different projects, if you see that you and them are just not on in sync, then you might want to think about either giving them something else to do or just sort of telling them thanks but no thanks. I don't need to, we don't need to work together again. Just like I had a website built last year or what, yeah, whenever it was. The website it was okay. It's not the greatest. Will I work with this person again? No. I need to find somebody else. And the next person I find, they do a great job. I will keep them around. I will always hit them back up, you know, keep in contact with them and say, hey, you know, I got this project. Will you help me out? You know, and that's how that works. You meet people. You might know people that actually know how to do this kind of stuff. Me, myself, I don't know anybody that this is the one thing. I don't know anybody that knows how to do anything when it comes to editing anything like that so i have to meet people but you might be different you might know these you might know people so it's find the right people use the people over and over. when you find somebody keep using them you know don't switch off don't switch on because once you get into a groove you want to try to keep the harmony going in your business so that is that with team building and also like i said remember if it's not working out let them know that it's not working out. The faster you realize that, hey, this guy, my, me and this person don't mesh well together, the better off you are, the easier it'll be. So, that is team building. I know it's not a whole lot, but you 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 know you know what you you know what you're good at. You know what you're good at and what you're not good at. Eventually, you you will have to figure that out. And save yourself some time. It's also about time management because, like I told you, I did a website, ten hours on the website, and it was still wasn't that good. But then I'm, I said, so I gotta have somebody do it. I found somebody else. I didn't really like the, what they did. So now, and of course, I was also still kind of unsure what I wanted. But now I I know what I want. So that's another thing. Know what you want before you hire people. You know, you can't come in half cocked and then not really know, and you just like. Oh well, do do this, you know. So that 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 is uh that was my fault. So you know, it's not that the guy wasn't bad. I mean, the website was it is what it is. But I was pretty, I was a little unsure of myself as well. So that's one thing I will tell you: make sure that you're sure of what you want. And then I was just trying to build, get something going real fast. But be sure of what you want. Write it down, map it out, and then explain to the person piece by piece what you want. And that way it'll save you a headache. It'll save them a headache, you know, because you don't want to, especially if you already have the, if you already have the know-how, what you, what you want, what you need. Like right now, anything I want to do in business, in my uh, online business and my affiliate marketing business, I know step by step what I need, what I want. And from now on, it will, it will either get done or they will get replaced. One or two, you know what I mean? So that's that. Now. After this spot, after this uh, commercial break, you can hear me talk about Anchor, starting the podcast on Anchor, of course. Um, we will talk about 
the wonderful world of toxic positivity and why you don't have to be so damn um, positive all the time. All right, welcome back. Now we're going to talk about too much positivity. Or as I read a few articles, toxic, toxic positivity. Say that three times. Now, of course, you ever if you ever been online, you ever spent five minutes on Facebook, and uh, you can always you can always tell when somebody's you can always tell when somebody wants to wants you to sign up for an uh, for like a ML, MLM company, you know, because those uh you know MLM people. For some reason, uh, the people that sign them up I always tell them, you know, post all these positive uh, memes and shit on your Facebook page, you know. So you'll see these people. I know a guy like this. You know, he's like, uh, everything's positive. You know, everything is about self-help, all this uh, all this shit, you know. You know, you know self-help. If you're not reading this, you're not reading that, you know. Think and grow rich. Think and grow rich. People will tell you that shit all day long. Think and grow rich. Read the book. <laughs> You know, everything's positive. Everything's positive. Everything's positive. But can you be too positive? Yes, you can. Listen. This this building something, trying to build a business out of scratch, from scratch, is hard work. I'm not saying you can't do it. But it's definitely hard work. Will you get frustrated? Of course you will get frustrated. You will get pissed off. You will want to quit, and that's okay. It is okay to be angry. It is okay to feel defeated sometimes. It is okay to have different emotions than other than just positive, happy, go lucky. Um, I get pissed once a week trying to figure some of this stuff out. You know what I mean? I get pissed off. I'm ready to kick something every now and then. I mean, it's okay, you know. Everything is not happy, happy, joy, joy. You know what I mean? But you see these people online. You see these people quoting Tony Robbins. You see these people quoting all these other people, you know. You know, positive, positive, positive. It's just like um, 2009 or whatever. Whenever gas was high, 2008, people was losing their jobs. And gas was through the roof. And um, you would be sitting there and i go... You know, I'd say, oh, fuck, I got to go to work. I got to drive this truck, you know. Uh, and they go, hey, just be lucky you got a job. I'm thinking, I want, you know, you want to turn around and tell these people, you know what? Hey, man, fuck this job. I don't give a shit about this job today. I'm not in the mood for this job today, okay? They want to tell you, well, be lucky you got a job. Am I lucky? Am I lucky that I got this job? Uh, you can't tell people how to feel, you know. You can't tell people to be positive, you know. And it's a, too much of this positivity going on you know everybody wants you to have positive vibes yeah yeah you be positive be up be uplifting be bright but sometimes doubt creeps in and that's okay let it come in let it, feel the emotion don't try to fight them don't try to deflate them all the time you know i mean sometimes you get angry sometimes you need to take a break sometimes you get so frustrated with this stuff you just need a day off just take a day off it's okay it's okay you know you come back in a you come back in a in a, in a in a better mood, you know. You know it's okay. It's just like sometimes uh, I wake up, I do this. I when I I roll over, I go. Oh, I got a podcast to do, you know. Out of the out of the last six weeks, it's been it's probably been three or four times that I'm just like, yeah, fuck this podcast, huh? Fuck it, fuck it. But I do it, you know. I go okay. I take a stop, take a break. I go, you know, just gotta relax. It, take a deep breath. It's okay. And I do the podcast, but you know, ninety percent of the time I wake up, I go podcast time. You know, let's go. You know, so don't let anybody preach to you about you know you got to be positive, 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 positive. Man, it's it's too much of that. You know, everybody wants everybody wants to be a everybody wants to be a everybody wants to be a self help guru. You know, get the hell out of here with that self help bullshit all the time. You know. Nothing wrong with self-help. There's nothing wrong with improving yourself. You know, if you're not improving yourself, you know, you know, I mean, what's the point? But you don't have to have, you know, you, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to be happy, happy, joy, joy every day. Some days, some days you're not going to be. It's just like, uh, well, my, uh, my, I had a cousin, you know, he died, you know, the guy was like 40 years old and, uh, 
he died and he was 40 and I mean, you know, we was the same age and, you know, he was the best man at my wedding and I'm like, you know, for that week, you know, I was just, I was in the days, you know, and he talked to people and they're like, uh, well, you know, it's it's okay, you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. like no, it's not, it's not okay, <laughs> it's not okay, okay, it's not okay. I'm not, I'm not in, the, I'm not in the best, best of moods, you know. Of course, of course, you know when people die, you know, especially somebody that close to you, you know, you you, you do, you always do a little self reflecting. You're just like shit, you know. What what can I what can I do? Because I want to keep on living, you know. So, but. People come, people come, they like, oh, you know, it's okay, you spent a lot of time. I, I want to spend more time with the motherfucker, okay? Uh, but, yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff that, and I try not to be, you know, I mean, I'm positive. I, I'm, I've, I've always been naturally sort of a positive person, but I'm not going to sit here and say it every day, every day for the 400, for the, for the whole time I've been on Earth, that everything's been hunky dory. You know, I've I've had, I've had times that I've just been not in the mood, not in the greatest of moods. You know, but yeah, I mean, you just power on through. But the whole the whole be positive, be positive all day, every day. It it's it it's too much, especially during these times. People losing their jobs, and you know, you got you just sort of stuck in the house, and it's kind of you know, I mean. Who the hell wants to be stuck in the house for the last four or five months, you know? I mean we are we are we are creatures of earth. We are made not to be stuck in the house all the time, you know. So So yeah. You don't have to be I mean, you I mean it's always you are you can always you wanna get better, that's great, you know. I mean you should you should always be striving to get better, but and to be positive positive all the time, nah, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's just like when you. It's just like doing this business, you know. Sorry if I'm uh, repeating myself, but um, it's just like doing this business, you know. You you go online, you start writing stuff. You write it, you type it out, you uh, shoot a video, you know, and then you sh- upload the video. And you go, man, I should get like two thousand uh, views on this video, and then it, it's like two views. It's alright to be annoyed. It's okay. Just keep just just come back. Come back, film another one. Eventually, once it hits, you 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 you'll be okay. You know, it's but it's it's okay if you shoot. It's okay if you shoot two months worth of videos and then one day you get frustrated and you take a week off. It's okay. It's okay. Take a week off. I always come back to it though. Never never just throw in the towel. I always come back to it. You know, you get you get frustrated, you get upset, you get annoyed. Look, I get it. I get it. You get frustrated, you get annoyed. Take a break. I mean, I've took, I took, I've taken um, these two years, you know, online. Uh, this year, you know, I got frustrated, very frustrated. January, and I said, you know what? I said, ah, fuck all this shit. You know, I, I was annoyed. I said, I, I'm taking two months off. Two months turned into about four months. Okay, I didn't write anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything. I said. Fuck it, I'm not even gonna worry about it. So, put it down. I thought about it, you know. It always was in my mind, you know. And then, about March, April, May, really May, I said, got to get back to it. Let's go full force. And we've been at it, and it's been going good, you know. So, I have no complaints. But yeah, so don't let people just beat you over the head with all that positivity it's okay sometimes to have negative feelings negative emotions i mean i'm not a doctor or anything like that but just let them go man let them let them let them let them seep in feel them emotions it's all right do like i do when i'm feeling negative i go yeah yep fuck it fuck it fuck it it's like fuck it about six times and fuck it it leaves and it's out of my system, and away we go, you know, back to it. So, that's that. I hope that helps. Um, as this podcast goes on, of course, we'll probably do more things about mindset and all that, you know. Um, I'm not a motivational coach. I'm not a motivational speaker, but, I mean, I'm definitely not. 
um, I definitely can help you out with some of that stuff because I know how it is to to be annoyed, to be happy, to, you know, I mean, it's life, man. It's living, you know. We all living, you know. We all just out here living, you know, trying to make it, trying to make it in this uh, world, you know. So that's that. That's the podcast for the day. We'll be back tomorrow for more chatter, more chit chat. Oh, yeah, by the way, fuck you, Ted Cruz. I mean, Ted Cruz on Twitter is very annoying. All right? Why is Ted Cruz on Twitter anyway? Who cares about you, Ted Cruz? Nobody. My friend sent me this thing yesterday. I thought it was a joke. And I was like, oh, Lord. Now Ted Cruz want to boycott Magic City. How dare you? The people of, people of Atlanta will see you at the airport and will throw eggs on you, sir, okay? So if you know Ted Cruz, tell Ted Cruz for me. Fuck you, Ted Cruz. Anyway, that's it. That's it for the day. See? Um, that's the podcast. Hope you enjoyed it. My name is Tony Rizzano. This is the Affiliate Party Podcast. Let me know if we should change this name, huh? I, I think I'm tired of saying the Affiliate Party Podcast. I don't know. I might do a contest. All the people listening. We might should do a contest. But anyway, Tony Rizzano, the Affiliate Party Podcast. We will talk to you tomorrow, everybody. And as always, peace.